Hello and welcome back. This is CS50 Python. We are in week one, conditionals and problem set one called Home Federal Savings Bank. We have already solved problem set one, which is deep thought. You can find the link in the description. And now let's see how to solve this problem set, Home Federal Savings Bank. This is CS50. <laughs> Feel free to watch this video. It's a nice video. In this video, Kramer, Kramer is a customer of the bank. He visits the bank that promises to give $100 to anyone who isn't greeted with a hello. So the bank announced a prize of $100 to any customer who isn't greeted with a hello. Kramer is instead greeted with a hey, which he insists isn't a hello. And he asks for his $100. So the bank's manager proposes a compromise to Kramer. You got a greeting that starts with an H. So how does $20 sound? And Kramer says, yes, we want to apply this to a Python file. So in a file called bank.py, implement a program that prompts the user for a greeting. So we need a greeting we act like the bank teller. If the greeting starts with a hello, that means that the customer will not take any compromise. So we output zero dollars. If the greeting starts with an edge, but in the same time, it's not a hello, then we will go with the compromise. So the customer will take $20 else or otherwise customer will take $100 in case the greeting is not a hello and the greeting doesn't start with H. Ignore any leading white space in the user's greeting. We will know how in a second and treat the user's greeting case sensitively. We will use two methods to achieve this, which are here. The first method is dot strip, any string dot strip and without any argument here which will strip any leading or trailing spaces and the second method we're going to use is string dot starts with and we're going to know how in a second there is one important thing here uh, which is customer will not take anything zero dollars not only for hello but if the hello there or hello newman that means that just starting with hello and anything follows doesn't matter let's check this let's move on to pie chart so here are the mapping or the steps of our program first thing we'll prompt the user for a greeting we will ignore any leading white space in the user's greeting and we will do this through using the method dot strip and we will treat the user's greeting case insensitively. In this, we're going to use dot lower or the dot upper. Now we have three cases. Case number one, if the greeting starts with hello, we will output zero dollars. If the greeting starts with an edge but not hello, we will compromise the customer with twenty dollars. Else, if not starting with hello or with an edge, we will output one hundred dollars. Let's apply this. So first of all, we will prompt the customer with for a greeting. So if greeting will equal input as greeting, then we will apply our conditions before we go with the conditions we have to ignore the leading spaces so we we're going to use the dot sorry dot strip and we're going to use dot lower to treat the user's green case insensitively let's start with our first condition so if greeting dot as we agreed we were we we're going to use starts with if the greeting starts with a hello, we're going to write the string in lower because here we have, we've added the method dot lower. If we added the method dot upper, we have to write hello in upper cases. Condition number one, if the greeting dot starts with hello, that means customer will not take anything. So we will output zero dollars. Then we will move on to 
condition number two if the greeting dot starts with here we have case two if the greeting starts with an h and not greeting dot starts with hello we're gonna print the compromise twenty dollars so if the customer has been greeted by, by anything starting with an h like hey like hi but not hello customer will get twenty dollars if both cases are false which means else then customer will get his prize which is the one hundred dollars the one hundred dollars and let's check that out activate the program bank.py let's say customer has been greeted with hello yes no dollars customer has been greeted with hi he will take 20 customer has been greeted with like what's up then he will take the 100 dollars uh let's say customer has been greeted by hell yeah at least the greeting has an edge so customer will get the 20 dollars so now our program is working fine but can we add this in a function yes we can so let's first define the main function and inside of the main function we will add the prompt then we will add our function here so let's define uh, let's say compromise compromise and add a greeting or add a text as you like so let's indent all this here so if greeting that starts with hello that will match here if we write here anything any argument for example text so we have to write text in here so now we've added only the conditions inside our function and then we have to call the function so if name or we can write only main but this is the best scenario as we've discussed in an earlier video if name equals equals main then call main and let's try things before trying things let's call the function here so compromise the greeting clear the screen on the program again aha uh -huh. we have a problem here ah the indentation that's nice run again so i 20 dollars f hello he get nothing if we say hey newman we get 20 dollars if we say sub you will get the 100 dollars now our program is working excellent time to copy the code to the code space so here is our code space i already uh, created a directory called bank and created code or a file called bank.py and here we have to paste the code and we will check 50 before we submit and let's cross our fingers congratulations everything is working fine in that case you go to submit 50 copy it paste it here and then wait for the program to prompt you for yes or no you write yes and upload the program thank you for watching see you in the next video